is uh, Ray Walker. He uh, sang bass with the Jordan Airs, backed up Elvis Presley uh, for many years. And I read recently where he is the most recorded voice in the world. Yeah, talking about me, not Elvis. Yeah, yeah, not Elvis, Ray Walker. <laughs> That's because of the church recordings too, you know? Yeah. My daddy started me at six and it just went from there. Almost any hit record in Nashville for probably 25 years, the uh, backup somewhere in the background was Ray Walker singing. But uh, Ray Walker knew the Colonel and knows this building. Uh, I'm going to just get some, uh, get him to record some of his memories of being with uh, Elvis and the Colonel and this building. All righty. Well, I don't have uh, many memories of this building because I was only in it two or three times. But uh, I think the whole group came out the first time after I came with them in 58. And the Colonel was downstairs. That was where his office was at the time. And um, I believe he brought us in through the front door that time. Normally, we would go down back around the little pool house over here. And um, he was sitting there, and Colonel was a man like this, you know. Hey, how you doing? I want to meet that new bass singer, you know. The Colonel was all business. If he got a phone call while he was, you know, interviewed, he'd say, hold on a minute, got to make a little. He'd get on that phone, here we go. Well, I was always laid back, because I came with him in 58. And uh, I was the fourth man on the totem pole. But I had the biggest picture on his clock. <laughs> <laughs> he had this clock right in here somewhere on this wall. And it hung down to about, about here, a little grandfather sample, a little pendulum clock. And it had Gordon, Neil, Hoyt, and Hugh. And uh, so uh, their pictures were like I said a moment ago. And he put me on the bottom of that stack on this wall right there. I'd love to know what happened to that. <laughs> it went to Graceland, I'm sure. Oh, it may have. Yeah, it may have. But then his desk was right over here, uh, Colonel. When I got up, he, when we came in, um, he stood up right there, and he had his desk right in here. And, uh, of course, you know, the colonel, he talked that way, good bitch, you know, and uh, yeah. But he got up and he shook my hand and everything, and he was glad to meet me, he was very cordial. And uh, we talked a little bit and chit-chatted. I walked out back to see some of the back room, but didn't go in. But right here is my first experience with Colonel Tom Parker. <laughs> and, uh, but I always kept my place and uh, never tried to step out of where I belong, you know, because Gordon and Neil and Hoyt owned the name of the quartet, and they'd been in business for a while, and I was just stepping in one year out of college, so that was good. I kept my place, I think. Pat and Elvis really liked each other. You got time for a short story? Sure. Elvis, I told, do. Elvis told us this. He said, oh yeah, he said, Pat Boone said, I'm not supposed to like him. It's not good for publicity. But he said, Pat had his ball team and I had my football team. And he said, of course, we lined up there. And they put me right across from Pat. And I was ready. He said, they hiked that ball and Pat ran through me like I wasn't even there. I was lying on my back looking up at the stars, just dying laughing. I said, well, you know, Pat was an award-winning football player. I said, he's got legs. He well, I wish I'd have known that before I got in front of him. <laughs> so they lined up again. Pat came right through him again, just knocked him and winded him. So he said, I made up my this time. He's not getting me. So they hiked that ball. And when the play was dead, Pat and Elvis were standing there <laughs> digging in just <laughs> with each other. But uh, Elvis opened for Pat one time when Pat already had those records. and. Pat came up and spoke to him. He says, I'm Pat Boone. He says, I, I, I understand. And he said, well, Elvis looked kind of shy. Elvis said, but you're a star. Pat says, I understand you're going to be one too. <laughs> so that's where their association started because Pat's straightforward, so is Elvis. Same spirit, different, uh, different uh, ways of approaching things. Same spirit. Mm -hmm.